What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, another day, another blessing, another me. You guys can see, as you guys can see by the title, we got another T Room video. Brooklyn emotionally, Jay Cinco want nothing to do with her after exposing the real reason for the breakup. So, mind y'all, this couple allegedly haven't spoken two years make sure y'all like comment subscribe and share this video make sure you guys follow your girl on all her social media the links will be in the description down below guys so let's get into this video brooklyn frost and justin saw each other for the first time last night since the breakup now if you guys didn't know brooklyn and deshay are doing this frostathon where they're streaming every day all day for 25 days on twitch well justin came through and deshay asked justin if he would be willing to talk to brooklyn now things were a little bit awkward at first and in my opinion you Look can at her face it's like she can see his reflection in the, in, the, in the mirror and she just like Ooh. she still got a thing for him tell that Justin isn't really completely ready to forgive Brooklyn oh, but they wow. jump right into it explaining the real reason behind the breakup if you guys remember Justin stated there was a domestic situation that occurred well now they went into full detail on that situation uh, no it's, it's real the reason we broke up is because, I mean, like, the last, okay, the reason we really, like, like, last stream was just the, uh, the chain shit, you know, the purse shit. It's the Motion Array Epic Holiday Sale. Did he say the pressure? Get 10%. Did he say the pressure? Okay. Mm -hmm. Damn. It was that, for real. I mean, that, that was really, like, you know, what made me, like, you know, say, like, you know, I said over and stuff. And then, you know, it kind of like still. Ain't like to me, it's, it's Brooklyn, Brooklyn, the fun of the bay. Let's see. I'm going to something else, but like that was my re that was like my my last, like, you know, last right. straw like, for me, personally. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, when that happened, I'm not gonna lie, like, I was and like. And she's so goofy, y'all. She always laughing, though. I'm like that too, like. I never seen anyone laugh the much as my sister Treese laughed. Lord have mercy. But I, I, you have to laugh sometimes. Even when you mad, you be laughing like this. Crazy. I was very upset at myself with that. Shit. Yeah. Very upset at myself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I went back to my old ways. Yeah. Over the littlest dumbest. Shit. You know, over some weed. <laughs> Yeah, some weed. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> some weed. Um, I personally don't remember beating me with a chain, though. Say I'm over. Right. No, beating I him with a chain? I didn't hear anything about her beating him with a chain. You done beat that man with a chain? <laughs> what the heck? I, I, yeah. I don't remember. Like, you, the way you explained it, though, yeah, nah, uh, I, I you never, made it seem like I was beating you. Nah, I never said thing. you beat me. Like, come on. Like, I wouldn't let nobody eat me but like you know you hit it that sh you feel me and it's just like you know the way you treated it after was like you ain't care you feel me like you know like i hit you that hard get up but but look when i i threw the purse at you right and then you went to the bathroom in the second bathroom mm -hmm. i didn't know you was crying you did i was telling you to like stop mm -hmm. following me yeah so it sounds like brooklyn sabotaged the relationship you know they young no, I didn't know he was crying though. I know, and then I, you wasn't opening the door, the no, and that's when I busted the that's door. What I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like that night already was crazy for me. Like nah, 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 nah. it wasn't like I ain't saying like you whooped me with the chain. Like well, that's how I, I didn't know what you did anyway. Like I was my back was toward from me. I was going to pick up mm -hmm. the uh, I think it was the food or some shit that Buddy ate or some shit, mm -hmm. and I had um. Was walking to the food, you feel me? And just you threw the you threw it right. That's what you did. You threw the purse, mm -hmm. and when you threw the purse, you feel me? It's like a long string purse. So it's like all I got was the the chain part of the right. purse. You feel me? So all I felt was like you know like the 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 whip on my back type beat. Mm -hmm. And then like you know, nigga drop down. You feel me? My I'm butt ass naked, y'all. Like I'm butt ass naked, bro. So it's like, bro, that's hurting. You feel me? And then you know, yeah, you know. I apologize for that if I never did. Nah, it's, it's good. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, um, it's all good. 
No, that was actually- I mean, I like the. I, she apologized. So I'm telling you, as long as you can give a person a sincere p- apology, I accept it. But see, me, it's something about me knows if you genuinely sorry. If you, like, I believe she's sorry. That's crazy. No, that's what I knew it was over, too. Like, just, I just know it. Now, they also spoke on the whole situation around the pregnancy. Brooklyn stating that the pregnancy was actually planned. Uh, Trying, like, it was planned. <gasps> what was planned? So the baby wasn't planned? Oh, I thought you said, <laughs> I thought you said something. Uh, what you mean, like, it was planned? Like, like we, we knew, we knew, we, we knew what it was doing. Yeah. Like, we knew what we was doing type shit. Like, yeah. and we was like, if it happened, it happened. Like, yeah. You know? Oh. But that's how I knew I wasn't. She was pregnant? What? <laughs> oh, I didn't know anything about her being pregnant. If she was pregnant, y'all comment down below. Give me the tea in the comments. Was she really pregnant? Or they was just kind of like just saying that for the, the people? With them. I mean, that's how I knew I wasn't with them because we was still, every time we were, was each other mm. he wasn't in the picture mm. but i'm saying like but that's not the point like <laughs> the point saying. is i felt like you should have been there for me mm. going through that but i'm okay. like even after the fact like like no like flowers no like you're strong like anything like it was just like a like i didn't like i was that that me up mentally yeah that really did me up mentally i'm listening to you i'm just gonna play you Man, get your ass. These fools back there running past the door. So, oh, God. Oh, bro. Just like the door, bro. Go ahead, I'll listen to you. Nah, um, but no, that me up mentally, like, because, like, you know, I, I was, like, I was getting, like, you know, I, the way I had to, um, the way I had to do it, I don't know. I don't, you don't want to talk about it because I don't want to get emotional. Uh, you could. Yeah, like, I, I apologize. Like, I don't know. I, I was like, it was one of those, like, man, like, I don't know. Like, my gut just, I don't know, bro. I just, I don't know. Like, I ain't feel right about it. You feel me? Like, you got to understand, like, how all, like, for me, though, like, with, with the, with the, like, I understand I'm wrong and I apologize. You feel me for not being there. But I'm just saying, like, just on my end, like, how I was taking the situation. We're just like, but you know, honestly, you have to be very mature to be there for somebody that you feel though to hurt you, or or that if they even give you any sort of, um, if they give you any reason to make you think that they don't even care about you, you're not definitely gonna be there. You're gonna be in your ego. You're gonna be like, man, bump that, you know. And that's just a human thing for a lot of people. You got to be very mature to be there for somebody, and you feeling some type of way about them. And then besides, as I stated before, these these couple, you know, they young. They very young. So, you know, Brooklyn, she admit she messed up, you know, and he admit. You know, he wasn't there for her. So it is what it is. You grow, you live, you learn. All right, like just even just solely how he came about even in the picture period. Oh, just like, you know, the clown shit. You know, like I'm going through a lot. You know, my hair is cut. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, you know, it was me. Now things did lighten up towards the end. But when they went back downstairs with Deshay, Deshay tried to get them to hug it out. You can tell that Brooklyn was willing to, but Justin wasn't having it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? How y'all feeling? Good. Hug it out, bro. Hug it out. I'm proud of y'all, bro. Hug it out. Hey. No, I'm sorry. You know? Huh? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sad, I'm sad. I'm glad, bro. I'm just gonna say, like, I'm mature over both of y'all, like, really coming together, coming one, and be able to set your differences aside and both take accountability. So then they put both Deshay and Brooklyn on a lie detector machine. Now, Justin was asked some questions about if he actually wanted the baby, if he ever sees himself getting back with Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> when you guys were together, did you want the baby with Brooklyn? Yeah. So she was pregnant, and she must have lost the baby. I never knew that. 
Wow. Mm. That's crazy. Okay, 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 Is that DDG? <laughs> Yo, I didn't even know who this dude was with them glasses on. Would you ever? They Brooklyn again in the future. No. Ten years from now. No. Truthful or both? Mm. Mm. Ten years is a long time. Yeah, I've been in. Mm. You gotta do a stream in ten years, same stream. <laughs> I like man, listen. <gasps> I ain't got nothing to say on that part. I mean, he said no. See, see, see me. I set real boundaries. Three strikes you out. Honestly, depends on the situation. That first strike you can be out. That second strike you can be out. But I don't go over three strikes. Because you know better on the first strike. I possibly depends on how I feel about you. I give you another chance on that second. But that third, you out of here. Don't even come with it. Mm-mm. Period. Would, is, is it okay? Would you mind being <laughs> friends? <laughs> bro, it's kind of like the level one thing is friends. I'm tired, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, would you mind being friends with Brooklyn after this? Friends, yeah, come on now, just friends. No, we cool. <laughs> Yo, he's still feeling some type of way, man. Good. All right. Yeah. Uh, Brooklyn, do you have any questions? Yes or no? Yeah, you can say that. Mm -mm. I got one. Um, do you like Brooklyn Queen? Like, have feelings for her? Yeah. No. Truthful. Mm. 5 a.m. <laughs> you, you ride down a one-on-one highway. Yeah, I think she feels some type of way because of his, um, of course, you know, because he said no. Because I be like this. I be listening. When, when they ask a certain person a question and the other person in the room and it relates to them, I be looking like, I be trying to look at their face and trying to see, do you feel some type of way or what's going on? You get a text. From Brooklyn, and she say, "I just want to kiss good night." So <laughs> give her a kiss good night. No. He's standing on big business. <laughs> I'm just saying. Usually, guys be like, "Oh, you know, if she changed, you know, yeah, I do it, baby." He's standing on big business. Just a no. Truthful. Oh, what makes you say she, that? She be yeah. fucking you up when she turn her head. She be yeah, like, I be like, damn, yeah, oh god, <laughs> like, damn, like, oh she god. <laughs> Now, Brooklyn was asked a few questions as well. Now, she answered the question if she still had love for Cinco. Brooklyn, do you still have love for Cinco? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Truthful. Mm. Love for. Love for. Okay. Wow. okay. Would you ever get back with Jay Cinco? No. She lied. I don't believe it. Can you ask that one more time, please? Would you ever get back with Justin? <laughs> no. I think she would. I think she would. I think she said no because he said no. But if you still got feelings with someone, if you still got feelings for someone, you would probably give them another chance nine times out of ten. Truthful. Mm. So now you guys leave your opinions on everything down in the comment section below. I know a lot of people are wanting to see the reconnect of Brooklyn and Jay Cinco, but I don't know if I see that happening just yeah. now. I mean, Justin did state that he's willing to become friends with Brooklyn, but it seems like he's done with her romantically. Right. But again, you guys Ain't leave your opinions down below. So y'all leave y'all opinions down below what y'all thought about this video. Me personally, um, as long as they both have came to a common ground where there's peace, that's all you need. If he can't see himself ever getting back with her because he feel like, because it's certain things you do to a person you just can't come back from. And people got to really understand that. You know, you really got to understand that. Um, me personally, I wish both of them well, you know, it's been two years, you know, I'm glad. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and don't go nowhere, guys, because I'm about to drop another banger, and make sure you guys go and follow your girl 
on Instagram. The link will be in the description down below. And also my other YouTube channel. Stay safe and blessed. And let God do the rest. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye. Love ya.